that I have apples and I have oranges. With my first dollar, because now everything is in dollar value. With my first dollar, do I want the first unit of oranges or the first unit of apples per, do, per their respective dollar? Well, oranges give me a higher degree of utility per dollar. So therefore, I will buy the first unit of oranges. Do I want the second unit of orange or the first unit of apples? Well, they're equal, so I take both of them. So I will buy the first orange, the first apple. The next, will I buy the, first, the third orange or the second apple? Well, this gives me a higher marginal utility. I'll buy the third apple. The, I'm sorry, the third orange. The next one, I take both of them because they're equal. And why don't we add this up? Uh, I have four oranges at $2 each, which gives me $8, and two apples at $1 each, which gives me two, and I've spent my $10. So therefore, I will, choose, I will choose to purchase four oranges and two apples, and two apples. Now, in order to check that, I have a mathematical formula that says the marginal utility of apples divided by the price of apples must equal the marginal utility of oranges divided by the price of oranges. So in this case, my marginal utility is eight. I'm going to buy two apples. My marginal utility is eight divided by one, or 16 divided by two. So there are other combinations here that will allow me to purchase and spend all of my $10, but none of them will give me the total degree of happiness as purchasing four oranges and two apples. We now want to take a look at something a little bit different. Let's assume for a moment, we go back to the original, we said that when apples, when oranges were $2, we bought four. When apples were $1, we bought two. But let us assume for some reason the price of oranges drops in the marketplace, and now people, are only, go, people only have to pay $1. So now we, I've simply redid our chart up here, and instead of this, our, oops, our um, marginal utility of apples is the same as it was before. 10, 8, 7, which is 10 divided by 1, 8 divided by 1, 7 divided by 1. And in this case, it would be the same as my marginal utility, 24, 20, or 20 divided by 1, because my oranges are now $1 each. Given the fact that the price of oranges have dropped now to a dollar, how will I allocate my money income. Well, again, the utility maximizing rule. I will allocate my money income so that the last dollar spent will give me the same marginal utility across the board of all the products that I purchase. So therefore, what do I want? Do I want the first unit of oranges, the first unit of apple? Well, oranges give me 24, so therefore, I'll buy the first unit of oranges. The next unit of orange. 18 versus 10, the next unit of oranges. 16 versus 10, the next unit of oranges. 12 versus 10, I'll buy even another unit of oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Do I want the, the sixth unit of oranges or the first unit? Well, the sixth unit of oranges only gives me six degrees of happiness per dollar of orange versus 10. So now I'll purchase the first unit of apple. The second unit of apples. Six versus seven, the third unit of apples. Six to six, they're the same. I'll take both of them. And why don't we add these up? I buy four units of apples now, and six units, and that gives me $10. So therefore, when the price of oranges drops to a dollar, a dollar per orange, I can increase my, the amount of goods that I purchase 
and still have money left over to buy more apples. I can increase, I bought two additional apples when the price was $1, and I was able to buy two additional apples. So my money increased, if you will. And if we want to take a look at this to the next step, we have the quantity of oranges down here. When oranges were $2 an orange, I bought four oranges. When the price of oranges went to $1 an orange, I purchased six oranges. Shortest distance between two points is called a straight line. This becomes our demand curve. This becomes our demand curve for the good. All going back to the idea of the law of diminishing marginal utility. The idea of the utility maximizing rule that states that I will choose the good, that I will spend my dollar income on those goods that give me the same degree of marginal happiness. First realizing that I choose the highest degree, the, the good that gives me the highest degree. Somebody asks you, what do you want for your birthday? Perhaps when you were a kid, uh, Christmas time, you know, when you sat on Santa's lap, first thing that you told him is the thing that you wanted the most, because that's the thing that you wanted to drive home the most. Like that kid in the Christmas story, I wanted the BB gun. That's all he wanted. You, you, you purchase those goods that give you the highest degree of happiness. This is just a numerical exercise to go through on how to choose that, on, on, on what your thinking is. Okay? Again, if you have any questions, Email me personally, I'll respond to that. Also, please place your question on Blackboard, on Discussion Board, and I will post it on there also. The best thing that we can do is learn from each other. So if you have any questions at all, please email me personally, post it on Discussion Board. And I encourage the other students to likewise address those concerns. Uh, thank you very much, and have a good day.